Hello everyone and thanks for tuning in. Uh, it's great that you're all considering applying to study chemistry at Cardiff. We're a really vibrant department that delivers a research-led teaching program to all our students across a wide range of degree programs on offer. Chemistry is an ever-changing subject and I'm really proud that our chemistry degree in Cardiff is it's modern, it's progressive and it offers not only all the core material that you would expect in any chemistry degree but also a range of interesting, exciting and specialist topics. You've probably got lots of questions about what your university life might look like here in Cardiff especially given the fact that it's not possible unfortunately to come and visit us here in, in, in the wonderful main building campus. So over the next few minutes many of the academic staff in the department will give you a quick virtual tour around our chemistry department and our campus. For a science subject lectures are still one of the main methods by which information content is delivered to students. A lecturer will stand up, talk about material, slides will be used to present uh, more intensely graphical information, more complicated things, and then that information will be given to you. Typically a handout will be given to you and you will then be able to annotate that, make your own notes with that as you see fit at a later date. Also these lecture theatres in Cardiff are very well equipped. Um, there are multiple cameras and multiple um, uh, projection slots, uh, not slots, projection equipment here. Um, we record and capture this and this goes through a system called Panopto and that is then available for you to use at a later date uh, to revisit, to uh, go over the material that you might not have got first time round. Of course, it's really important that you get an opportunity to apply your knowledge and this is typically done in the form of tutorials. So, what exactly is a tutorial and how does it differ from a lecture? Let's head over to Glamorgan Building and find out more. Tutorials are small group based teaching covering the core topics of physical, inorganic and organic chemistry and they're led by an academic staff member who specialises in each different group of chemistry. Prior to the tutorial you will have to complete a small piece of coursework and then this will form the basis of discussion during the tutorial itself. Tutorials are also a great chance for you to ask questions and to discuss any of the material that you haven't quite maybe understood in lectures. And you'll stay in the same tutorial group for the duration of your degree, so you'll get to know the rest of the group pretty well, and that really helps with ease of discussion in the actual sessions. So we really encourage students to engage in and contribute to the tutorials, so you should be prepared to come and ask questions and to help each other learn. Whilst developing your theoretical knowledge of the subject forms the foundation of your degree programme, no degree in chemistry would be complete without developing your practical skills. So let's head back to main building to our teaching labs and see where you get hands-on with synthetic chemistry and analytical measurements. The teaching labs are equipped with a range of glassware, equipment and chemicals for all of your undergraduate and practical needs. This is where we'll train you in a broad range of synthetic chemistry skills so that upon completion of your degree programme you're ready with all of the practical skills you need to move into a laboratory-based career. Students typically work in pairs, but there's plenty of opportunity throughout your degree programme to get hands-on with all of the equipment and the synthetic procedures that we'll be teaching. The labs are delivered by academic or research members of staff, and there'll be several PhD students on hand to help you whenever required. Here in the Physical Chemistry Laboratory, the emphasis is on developing your analytical skills. We have a range of advanced instrumentation for you to use and computers located all the way around the lab for data analysis. Okay, so here we are in the main synthetic laboratory where you'll put into practice things that you've learned in your organic and inorganic um, lectures. So much of the work that you will be doing in this laboratory is synthesizing chemicals and then characterizing them. So you will use a variety of different techniques so things like titrations, you'll do distillations, and then you'll also characterise your compounds using techniques such as NMR, uh, melting point, UV vis, and IR spectroscopy, which will allow you to check um, the purity of the compounds that you've made. 
Okay, so some of the reactions um, that you'll be performing can release nasty gases or can be quite smelly. So we'll do these in a fuel cupboard. Um, you'll also get the chance to work with compounds that perhaps um, are air sensitive or react with oxygen. And so we will use um, this apparatus here, which is known as a Schlenk line, to do uh, reactions under nitrogen. During the final year of your degree, you will undertake a research project with a member of academic staff working in their research group. This project will contribute to a real research programme that's been undertaken in the school and will involve the use of state-of-the-art equipment such as the multi-million pound NMR suite that I'm now sitting in. If you're an MChem student, this project will take the entirety of your final academic year, whereas if you're a BSc student, it will take the second semester of your final academic year. Students here at Cardiff are really fortunate to study in a really beautiful environment. Let's take a trip down the corridor to the main science library. Does this scene look familiar to you guys? Many locations around campus have been used as filming locations for TV series and films. So much so that we've even got our own Instagram page. No visit to the university would be complete without a tour of the library, which as you can see has a vast range of books. There are multiple copies of the core chemistry textbooks, so you should always be able to find one, as well as being able to access these resources online. There are also more advanced books which will cover specialised topics in more detail. If you look carefully enough, you may even find some by our own academic staff. We also have online access to some of the most important resources. These can be accessed from on campus or at home. Here in the library, there are also quiet study spaces and next door is an IT suite equipped with networked computers that also have chemistry specific software installed. So, where can you go with a degree in chemistry? There are so many options. Pharmaceuticals, biotech, the oil and chemical companies, food and drink industry, manufacturing of all descriptions, aerospace, forensics, energy. Many of our students get a taste of these industries during their placement year, which takes place in the third year of the degree program. I could go on and on, but I don't have to, because our professional body, the Royal Society of Chemistry, have all the information on their fantastic website. So, hopefully we've answered all of your questions, you've enjoyed your tour, but of course, please don't hesitate to contact us through our education and admissions team if you have any queries or any questions. We're always open and we're always happy to help. We look forward to receiving your applications, we look forward to receiving you, and most of all, we look forward to welcoming you as a Cardiff student in the future. We really look forward to hearing from you and hopefully welcoming you to Cardiff as a chemistry graduate. Lectures in a lecture will typically have a comprehensive set of notes that you would be able to learn. In addition to the walls of books, said off record. <laughs> no, that was on record. <laughs> I don't know how to do it. Maybe this way? Right, me working out the mechanism of the fume cupboard. There we go. Yeah, that's not going to work though, is it? Oh. Turned it off. Bail! <laughs>